Hi everyone. Today we are going to study the logical design in system analysis and design. While you know the design process is divided into two phases, one is the logical design and the physical design. So today we are going to discuss the logical design. Basically, logical design is the phase of system development life cycle in which system analyst and user develops concrete understanding of the operation of the system. So basically, here we are concerned with the logics. Hence, we want to know what are the operations of the system. So during the logical design phase, the system analyst is trying to understand what he is trying to understand what would be the operations or the functionalities of the system. Now, there are various steps involved in logical design and these steps are first of all, designing forms and reports so uh, how many forms would be there uh, what uh, what would they look like how many reports would be there how would they look like so designing the forms and reports is the first step in uh, logical design which basically describes how data will appear to users in the system inputs and outputs you know forms are used for taking the system inputs and reports are used for providing the system outputs so basically how the data will appear as input when you're taking it in the form uh, in the uh, form of forms and how data will appear as output when you're providing it in the form of reports this is the first step so the first thing that you need to do while uh, designing the logical design is to design the forms and reports so that you are able to understand how the data as input through the forms will appear to the users and how the data as output will appear to the users in the form of reports. Then the second step is designing interfaces and dialogues. See, whenever you design a website or an application, the most important thing is having an interface. You need to provide an interaction between the end users and the system. So this interaction is provided through an interface. So that means it is very important to design interfaces and dialogues which describe what what would be the pattern of interaction between the user and the software? Software is made for the user to use it. So that means the user will have to interact with the software. And this will be done through some interfaces like through some forms or other forms of interfaces. So basically the second step involves designing the interfaces and dialogues because you need to know as a system analyst that what is the pattern of interaction between the users and the software or the application. Then the third step in logical design is basically designing logical databases. Now, when I say logical databases, that means I'm not talking about the actual physical databases where you store the data, but these logical databases kind of describe a standard structure for the database. That means you conceptualize how the actual database will look. So when you're designing the logical database, actually you're conceptualizing the actual physical database that how it will look like. That means what will be the standard structure for the database of the system, which would be easy to implement in a variety of database technologies. Now, now you are uh, provided with a lot of it database technologies now how you will implement using what kind of database technology this all would be decided in while designing the logical database structure which will primarily provide you with and uh, with you uh, which will primarily provide you with this information that what would be the strand standard structure for the actual physical database now we can better understand this entire process through this diagram so basically the first step says design forms and reports second step stays because uh, with the help of the forms and reports you're able to understand how the input and output will be presented to the user through forms and reports respectively then the second step says design interfaces and dialogues because finally this uh, software or this application is designed for the users to use it and how are the users going to use it that is the interaction between the users and the system which will be provided through some interface 
there is a project repository which will have, which is basically the repository of data and then there is a logical design so basically you have to design the logical database that means before you actually design the physical database you have to think of what will be the structure of that physical database so that is known as design the logical database so basically whatever the media choices are for inputs and outputs the layout of the forms and reports this all comes under the design forms and reports which goes to the project repository which will store all the information that how you have chosen to provide inputs and outputs uh, what will be the layouts of the forms and reports then this from this project uh, repository with the help of the uh, this particular information that how you will be designing forms and reports from here this information goes to how then you will design interface and dialogues once you are clear with the concept of how the forms and reports will be designed what will be the layout of the forms and reports with this information you can decide or design the interfaces and dialogues between the software application and the user and then this information uh, uh, this project in, uh, with the help of this information that is how you design the forms and reports which is stored in the project repository the, here go uh, from the project in uh, repository you can tell that what would be the data flows how the data will flow from which particular entity to which particular entity what will be the entity relationship diagrams what will be the various prototypes and what will be the inputs and outputs now when you decide how, or when you design the interfaces and dialogues uh, between the users and the end system or the application that means you are determining what will be the menus what will be the icons interfaces etc because menus and icons are primarily uh, the primary source of interface and dialogues between the users and the application software so when once you design this thing the interface you can better tell what will be the menus icons etc how many menus icons how they look like and so this information again goes to the project repository then you can see from the project repository there is a flow of data towards the logical design of the database and there is a flow of data from the logical design of database to the project repository because you are talking of normalized relations when you have uh, uh, determined the relations that means the tables then you need to normalize also them so they will be normalized relations right so these are the various steps in the logical design so uh, after this video we will be discuss, uh, discussing all these things in details like the forms and reports uh, uh, which are the basic components of the logical design. So I think the concept of logical design is clear to all of you.